Good morning, Facebook community. This is John from Precision Auto Diagnostics. What I got behind me is a 2010 Dodge Avenger. <clears throat> Just a little simple brake job, but I'm going to show you the proper way to do it because I see a lot of messed up brake jobs. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to run you through the, the way that I do it and the way that I was taught to do it. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys, uh, are enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, hit that notification bell, subscribe, hit that like button, and, uh, show me some love. Just trying to do my thing. Once again, this is John for Precision Auto Diagnostics. And I uh, give you a little shot of the tools I'm going to be using. And let's get this thing started. Well, as you see, I already got the wheel off. Turn it all the way to one side. Of course, have your caliper hangers out. Personally, I like to break it loose first with a ratchet. Well, looks like we're going to be breaking that loose first. Let's get the old swivel sockets out. These are made by Astro Pneumatic. Uh great set relatively cheap Take that ABS wire loose first. Uh, and then break that loose. So that way your hose is nice and free. I like to take a screwdriver, make sure the caliper is going to push back nice and easy. Oh, yeah. course these are these bolts are the slide pins as well 
so you got to be careful that's why I broke it loose with a ratchet first because they do tend to like to get seized up hang your caliper up there off your off your strut now these brake pads are actually in really decent condition but the customer complaint is a lot of uh, a lot of noise a lot of noise while braking and uh, a lot of pedal shake and stuff like that so uh, he wanted to change the rotors and stuff so uh, I told him that uh, I wouldn't just swap the rotors out uh, he needed to swap the pads as well because you know they develop a wear pattern and don't want to have the same condition because the brake pads have worn to these warped rotors so that's why we're changing the brakes <sighs> sorry about that guys customer just called me and was wondering about uh new mounting hardware and stuff and uh of course you want to change the mounting hardware whenever you're changing brakes uh rotor off here Clean up his hub face. You always want to, always want to clean your mounting surface for your rotors. And douche it down a little bit with some brake parts cleaner.
get your caliper mounting bracket, get it nice and cleaned up. Thankfully this one ain't too bad. I don't like to reuse mounting hardware, but this hardware is still in good condition. Uh, I'll just clean it up because the customer, he's, uh, he's having uh, troubles with his wife and his ex-wife and he's going through a divorce and you know she's pretty much taking him for everything he has so shut down a little bit. Get all that cleaned up. Let that dry. Grab your caliper grease. I like to use a, a paintbrush. There were just, you know, some little cheap paintbrushes from the from the dollar store. But you know what works works. And uh they work very well. So, I'm not gonna complain about stuff that works. Always, uh, grease up your your mounting surface where your brake hardware goes.
and like new, there you go. So now that we got that side prepped and ready for the new pads and rotors, Grab the caliper depressor. Sometimes you might have to put an old pad there. But spread you a little bit of grease around the piston face. Customer should have had the brakes last night, but he didn't. So he took, I let him use my car to go and grab the new pads and rotors. just a waiting game. I'm waiting on him to get back. So I can put all this back together. Spray the hub face with some fluid film so that way the next time I change brakes, the rotor will come off easy. Now we're going to move to the other side and we're going to do the same thing. Also forgot to mention
cleaning up and greasing the slide pins. Put you some brake clean on the towel. Clean the old grease off and grease them back up before you put them back in. What a smack in the nuts, brother. Dude, I looked online yesterday. Yeah, you can't ever rely on that, man. <laughs> Listen, luckily, I had enough money. I had no idea this stuff was 200 bucks. No idea. Going on the ground, brother? Yeah. Yeah, just set her down. I wound up getting the brakes without the hardware. They were $20 cheaper. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, buddy. That's fine. Yeah, so like I tell you, man, my, uh... My neighbor's old. We took the tires off. The brake pads looked good. But uh, I don't know how to check a rotor. You know what I mean? Oh, they're definitely war. Yeah. Because, dude, they're making... You hit the brakes. I mean, you heard them yesterday. Dude, they, they gave you core rotors. What does that mean? They're used? Yeah, these are used rotors, dude. Why the fuck would they sell me used rotors? Those are core used rotors, dude. What the fuck, man? Let me see your receipt. Yeah, those are core used rotors, man. Yeah, see, nah, 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 they gave you, they gave you core rotors. Fuck, man. I hope there's a gas station close. Yeah, there is, dude. That's why I gotta take them back? <laughs> yeah. And I'm not, those, right. those are, those are used, man. I got it, brother. I'll handle gas and all that shit, man. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah, those are used, brother. Well, someone was kind enough to give him used rotors. You know that old uh, stick them back in the box trick? But, uh, I always put a little bit of grease right here so the pads slide easier. I don't know how some people do it. But I always uh, put just a tad bit of grease there. Don't make parts like they used to. 
tell you that. And you slide your pad in, and your pad should move freely. Nice and free. Your pad should move. Oh my fucking god. Well, this is what happens when you let customers supply parts. I was kind enough to let him use my car to go get his brakes and rotors. And now he's got to go clear to a whole other freaking town. to get them because he didn't look at the fucking parts before he left the parts store. So now I'm stuck out here in the fucking cold. waiting on him to get back. So, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit teed off right now. But, you know, that's what happens. God will bless me. He's blessed me with a talent. I'm going to use that talent. And he's blessed me with good fortune. So, you know, I'll be blessed for doing what I do and being kind So now we're we're back on this side. And we're just going to repeat the process.
take a screwdriver and make sure the caliper is going to go in. Make sure they're going to break loose, which they do with relative ease. Now, some of these have a little rubber grommet on them. And you got to remember where that goes. It goes on the bottom on the Avengers. Go ahead and finish depressing this caliper. Make sure your make sure your caliper boot and everything is not torn and everything's good to go. top bolt in a couple threads if not you might catch that mounting bracket right in the teeth uh, that's not something that you want it hurts a little bit them a nice little polishing.
there. Now that I got the new rotors, we can start putting this thing back together. Here you put the put that back on there. Snug these down. With a couple of other duggers. Put your put your squealer on it if it didn't if it didn't come with it already on there which these didn't because they were cheap brakes uh, put your squealer on there all right now that you got your pads on there, they should move nice and free. Uh, put your caliper on there. Watch, watch your, watch your boots. Grease up your new, grease up your slide pins. Not a whole bunch of grease. And remember where the one with the rubber grommet went, which on this car, it went on the bottom. up these slide pins real good uh, tighten these down with one little ugga dugga. <laughs> and then I'll always give them another little snug with my ratchet to make sure they're good and tight. Put this back up here for the brake hose. And then your other bolt for 
your ABS wire. Always thread them in by hand. A few threads first. Just a couple little ugga duggas. And there you go. And that's your finished product. That's what it should always look like. Never anything different. I make uh, I yeah. make repair videos. Yeah, man. That's good you do that, dude. Ooh. Not only you know what I mean. Ooh. Not only for you, man, but it also uh, records what you're doing. Well, I uh, I post it to yeah. my YouTube channel. Yeah, man, for sure. I've got a few of them on there. Not many, but I've got a few. Yeah, starting, man. Uh, yeah, when we took these tires off, my neighbor looked at the rotors, he said. He said, oh, they feel fine. No, they're warped. Yeah. Because I had this guy down the street do brakes for me about six months ago, man. I was driving to Waynesburg every day, and he told me then, he said, Hey, man, next time you get brake pads, you're going to need rotors. They're shit. I said, All right. I know the brake pads still had a little life on them, but yeah. the rotor was warped, man. Yeah, and then it developed a wear pattern. Yep. So it kind of defeats the purpose. You know, if you yeah. would have just changed the, rotor. the rotors, you still would have had pedal pulsation and shit like that. Yeah, it's better just doing both, man. Yep. And of course, I fluid filmed the hub face. So that way, uh, the rotors don't stick. I cleaned all that up, you know what I mean, with my drill and wire wheel. And I cleaned everything up, man. Greased everything. Oh, man. That's, how you're, that's how you're supposed to do it. Right on. You know what I mean? I yeah. see, I don't know how many people I see do brakes. They don't do that. And nev never touch it with yeah. grease. You know what I mean? That's that's what they make caliper grease for. And plus, we live in the Rust Belt. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's also an, an anti-corrosive. You know, that's what uh, that fluid film is. It's an anti-corrosive, anti, -corrosive, anti uh, and uh, rust preventative. Okay. Set down with a couple of ugga duggas. Slide your pads in. And like just like on the other side, your pads should move nice and free. Also, put a little bit of grease on the caliper face. Watch your boots. Make sure they don't get jammed up in there. Uh, I think my caliper grease is over here. Well, that's always nice. <laughs> Knock your camera over. Yeah. Yeah, you're awesome, man. I'm sorry that was a fucking shit show, man. Uh, it's it's all good, work, brother. Dude. It's all good. Yeah, I'll give you my word, dude. I'll drop another 20 off for you at the shop tomorrow. All I'll right. Back in, dude. Well, you, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be at the Route 51 store tomorrow. All right. So, I won't be... I won't be at... Uh, all right. You'll be there Tuesday? 
I yeah. got you, man. I'll take care of you, bro. Uh, actually, no, I won't be there Tuesday. All right. Well, you tell me, man. What are you know uh, what I mean? I'll be there Wednesday. All right. We could do Wednesday, or you could stop by. You know what I mean? Either or. If you want to stop by on your way home or something, I got. I start at four a.m. Oh, really? Yeah. Slide that up on there. Yeah, they just bought another tractor trailer. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that what you? Is that yeah, what you do? Yeah, that's what I do. I drive trucks. Oh, okay, okay. I moved out here. I was. I moved out here for the oil and gas wells. Now well, there's a lot of them. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. But uh, you know, working 18 hour days, man, it was tough. And then going through this divorce, man, I had to dial back. I couldn't do it. I was going fucking crazy, bro. Well, trust me. I mean, I only work 10 hour days, but I work six days a week. Yeah, you, you're working all the time, I could tell. <laughs> you know. You might be at the shop 10 hours, man, but then you're doing other stuff. Yeah, like this right here. Right. I'm going to use you for everything, dude. I'm so glad I found you, man. I'm sorry I got off on the wrong foot. Don't judge me, man. It's all good, It'll brother. It'll never happen again. Shit happens, man. Never happen again. Stuff happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. It ain't a big deal, brother. Stuff happens. You know? Yeah. That's what I... I fucked myself, too, man. I was supposed to be working today at church at 1130. I had to call them and say I can't make it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I go to Faith Assembly up on Morgantown Street, man. Oh, okay. This week was my security shift. I've been looking for a good church. Oh, man, listen, bro. I don't know. I don't know what your deal is, but... uh, uh I'm non-denominational. So so was I my whole life, right? But what I'm saying is... Hey, uh, were you going to step on the pedal yep. a few times for me? They good and tight? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, they feel nice. All right, that's that's what we like to hear. So but yeah, I've, I've mental, been uh, man, but uh, I moved here from Manhattan nine years ago. So that's where I grew up, man. My old man was a New York City cop for thirty years. He retired after nine eleven, and uh, oh really? Yeah, I had a rough paper route, man. I was fucked up for a lot of years, man, and uh, bad on drugs. All that shit, man. You and me both, brother. I'm a recovering addict. Yeah, I shot dope for 24 years, man. Uh, I finally got clean when I moved out here. And, uh... I only I did it for 12, I started going to a Christian but... church. Got baptized. And, uh... Good church. It's a good church? Solid, yeah. The pastor's phenomenal, man. Jason Lamer is his name. You know, you ain't got to get dressed up all fancy or none of that shit, man. They don't ram it down your throat. See, that's, that's you know, what bothers me about a lot of churches is, you know, that's what they do. Yeah. They they ram it down your throat and, yeah. and uh, you know, they're uh, really judgmental. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't like that, man. Yeah, this is none of that, man. Well... Then I will definitely consider that church. Yeah, man. I usually go 11:30 on Sunday. I will definitely consider that church because my wife and I have been looking for a good church. That's where my wife and I went. That's where my daughter goes to preschool. They got uh, if you got kids, they got children's services. You know what I mean? So they could all go be with the kids and do kid stuff. I know, unfortunately, man, my my son's locked up mm -hmm. uh, while I was in prison this time. Uh, she lost custody of him. Uh, she got with this meth dealer who uh, his his dealer tried to rip him off uh -huh. for like two grand 
worth of methamphetamine and uh, he wasn't having it and he took off after the guy shooting at him and ended up killing him and of course you know here come the US Marshals and yep. you know all this stuff and uh, she admitted to uh, admitted to drugs in the house yep. and stuff like that and she lost custody of him and I, uh, I fought for custody took my random UAs uh -huh. you know did all that good stuff and uh, it wasn't good enough he ended up screwing up big time man he he stole some guns off his, his papaw and, you know, they sent him away. How long is he doing? Uh, he's been gone for over a year. I did eight, man. I got to get it. So you don't you don't have to use a torque wrench or nothing. Yeah. I mean it's always good to go over them with a torque wrench, but that torque stick keeps you from having to do that. Yeah, that's nice. You want your bench? Uh, no, nah, buddy. Ah. Uh. Yeah, man. After uh, after we get right with this, you give me another chance, man. I'll use you for everything. Always. Hey, dude. I, I understand, man. That's what uh, you know. The good Lord will bless me for. Yeah, for sure. For everything I do, I've had nothing but blessings ever ever since I I quit using and. And got my life right, you know. Yeah. I've never had anything, and you know that's why I said I, I always every every payday, you know, after the bills are paid, I always buy a new tool, mm -hmm. you know, e even if it's just a a new ratchet. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I, I buy I buy myself something. Yeah. Two degrees. Right? Hit these down with a torque stick. 110 foot pound. Always go back over. And there you go. YouTube community, God bless you. Thank you. Once again, this is John from Precision Auto Diagnostics. Uh, hit that like button, notification, subscribe. And uh, God bless you all. You guys have a good day.